insufficient cash flow due to the budget crisis to uh, pay certain obligations among those payroll. Um, that anticipatory note was paid in full um, by the end of 2009. The anticipatory notes were basically borrowing from the city's credit. Uh, we pay our operational expenses out of the income we receive from the municipal income tax and other sources. Um, when that income is insufficient to cover our expenses, uh, we issue this anticipatory note, which essentially borrows from uh, the city's, quote, treasury. And I'm not, uh, I don't know the details necessarily what, what investments we pull out of or what assets, but these would be our uh, long-term assets, not our income, it's basically uh, the city's savings or treasury that we borrow from. By the Ohio Revised Code, we have to repay that anticipatory note back to our own treasury within six months. This year, in, anticip in anticipation of uh, cash flow issues, uh, we went ahead and this council authorized the issuance of an anticipatory note on January 13, 2010. The uh, city auditor's office repaid that anticipatory note pursuant to state law on July 13, 2010. What we're asking you to do is basically, uh, for lack of a better term, to roll over uh, the anticipatory note that um, is being paid on July 13th, and we are asking you to issue another anticipatory note to cover that amount. But I want to clear that we're not we're not going to issue we're not issuing four million dollars worth of anticipatory notes here. This is. The $2 million anticipatory note we paid to, to, so that we had adequate cash flow to cover our obligations in January. We are now about at the middle point of the year, and although we believe um, uh, we won't run into any serious cash flow problems, this gives us the insurance that we need to assure the liquidity is sufficient for July. This is a free payroll month, uh, and that's, that's tough on us from a cash flow perspective. So we want to issue uh, an anticipatory note to cover the fact that we just paid $2 million, or just about to pay tomorrow, uh, $2 million back to the city of